Hi guys and welcome to Upfront Edition 23. Um, so this week uh, we got a very long trailer. Um, as you know, Death Stranding on PS4 has released, or sorry, will release this week. Um, that being said, the launch trailer is almost eight minutes long. So um, guess what? Get eight minutes of that. No, it's a really good trailer. Um, it looks really good. I think I'm just going to wait on PS5's version just because. Uh, but anyway, check it out. BB, don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. America mean to you? Way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up Cairo network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This is how we'll rebuild our country. Extinction's on hold for now. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help, Amelie. She needs you. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. 
It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Five mass extinctions, each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east to Port Knot City. Kids done enough. No more. The decommissioning order finally came through. Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. I had no idea until you told me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Come and find me. I'm not the only one wearing masks, either. There's your boss man. And that woman. And... Let's not forget little old you. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Almost time. Two, one. All right, guys, so that was Death Stranding that comes out on the 8th. So that'll be out this week. Again, looks like a great game. I just think personally, I'm not going to cram Theft Auto of this and end up buying it for this generation and then turn around and buying it on ps5 uh so i'll wait but it is coming out this week so if you want something that looks like it's going to be a great play before the next generation by all means go grab that on the 8th all right so um playstation news let's just dive in here ps plus double discounts 40 percent off on about 150 plus titles until november 22nd uh which is actually pretty cool there's quite a few games in there the lego game is uh battlefield hardline uh just to name a couple and they're like next to nothing i i mean as a ps plus member i think i bought uh hardline for like six bucks um so there's that and then uh playstation view january 30th 2020 it will be shut down uh pay tv service is very competitive sony has acknowledged this and securing network deals isn't the easiest thing to do um, you can continue to use the partner services i.e netflix amazon etc 
uh, but PlayStation will remain focused on their core gaming business. Um, that was what was put out uh, in relation to view. And to be honest with you, I 100% agree because I looked at view a while ago and it was like their pricing, they had to uh, be like 40 30 40 dollars a month for um use and it just didn't make sense uh for me anyway to go to playstation view when i get netflix netflix for um nine bucks and i get amazon for the price of my um amazon prime membership for the year so um again just didn't make sense uh, for me to dive in that pool, and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of other people. So PlayStation View, again, if you're using it now, you can use it up until January 30th. Uh, and after that, it's it's going to be gone, guys. So um, there you have it for PlayStation. Let's jump into Xbox. Uh, Xbox's trailer for the week, Need for Speed Heat. Check it out. This is the playground. The one they think they control. But when we create, they can't look away. They have to see. So I say watch. This is me. When my homies in the Jeep, bumping law, pretty flock with the prayer hat. I said it once and I'ma say again. You roll a coast and the niggas, man. I'm the closest to the greatest. That statement is daily debated. I'm slaughterhousing on the pavement. Tell Charlamagne that we just made it. You can't even catch on my cadence. It's just cause you faded. Street racing has no place on public roads. You are out there engaging in this type of activity. We will find you. There is no escape. Look around. This is our escape. Alright guys, that was Need for Speed Heat. Uh, that's actually coming out on the 8th as well. I am actually grabbing this one. Um, I've always loved what the Need for Speed series does. Uh, they always come up with something that's uh, pretty fresh to the racing genre. They have made a couple flubs um, in the past that you know weren't really great games. Um, but this one actually looks like it might hold too, so we'll see. And we're going to do our uh, review of uh, this Need for Speed Heat at the end of this month, um, which we're going to get into our monthly videos, like our special monthly videos, at the end of this month instead of October. We didn't have a whole lot of time in October to uh, fully put something together, so that's why you didn't see that. Uh, but let's jump into... Xbox's remainder of the news for the week. So November Games of Gold includes Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, uh, The Final Station, Star Wars Jedi, Starfighter, and Joyride Turbo. Um, all look like they could be a good grab for uh, Games of Gold. So uh, go ahead and check those out if you're a member uh, within Xbox. Uh, the second and last piece for this week is a custom Terminator Dark Fate Xbox One X with a Rev 9 in black on top of the console with glowing red eyes uh, when it's powered up. Running through the 15th, fans have a, a chance to win it. You have to like, retweet, and comment on the Xbox contest tweet. It will include Gears 5 with Terminator pack, of course and a second regular Xbox One, so you can display one and play on the other. So um, there you have it. If you want to check that out, go over to Twitter, um, like, retweet, and comment on the Xbox contest tweet, and have your chance at receiving both of those consoles uh, direct from Xbox. So... Um, that is it for Xbox. Nintendo news. This week we have uh, Mario and Sonic go to the Olympics, the Tokyo 2020 edition. So uh, check out the trailer.
was Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. It's kind of funny because I remember there's a little clip in that where they show uh, the Mario at the Olympics uh, from back in the day. And uh, I remember that being huge uh, when we were playing Nintendo back then. So um, this looks like it's going to be okay. I mean, most of the Olympics games um, are set up to be invariably uh, difficult, challenging, etc. The Mario ones, uh, at least in past experience, were um, not really all that different, which is good. Um, and it looks like it's got some pretty good events. It also says new events as well, so um, that might be worth checking out. So to round out Nintendo's news, we have uh, Pac-Man's 40th anniversary is in May. And to celebrate, Bandai Namco has launched a song and music video as part of their Join the Pack campaign. A game will obviously release as well in May, so uh, go ahead and check those out. I'm sure if you just run a search for Join the Pack music video, you'll find it on YouTube. So, um, I mean, it's interesting. It's, it's very uh, uh, techno-ish and uh, just kind of add some of the sounds from Pac-Man over the years. Uh, but he is an icon. It's been great playing Pac-Man games over the years. So uh, we'll see what they come up with in May. And finally, Amazon was preventing third-party Nintendo sales for used consoles and games. Um, it sparked controversy, but it's an effort to reduce counterfeit product sales. So essentially, uh, Amazon is now asking that you prove that you're not uh, the, the product that you're selling is not counterfeit or fake. Um, and I guess that is a problem across Amazon and other retailers that people will sell fake merchandise and essentially get away with it because in the end, I mean, what can you do once you purchase it? You can go back to the seller. Uh, especially in Amazon's case, these are third-party uh, sales reps, and so they just want to make sure that what they're selling is, in fact, genuine uh, material for the consumer. So I don't think we can fight that too much, um, but I think it's a good thing. That way, people that are ordering Nintendo products that are used are getting what they order. So there's that. All right, that's it for Nintendo, and as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.